November 1, 2025, Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and welcome to 121 Point Mike Ground School. I thought it was time to go over some avionics. Avionics, of course, is a portmanteau of aviation and electronics. Aviation, electronics, avionics. In this first foray into avionics, I'm going to talk about the transponder. I feel it's likely misunderstood and far less intuitive than, say, a radio. So, what is a transponder? Well, in true avionics fashion, it's also another portmanteau. Can you guess where the word transponder comes from, long pause? It comes from transmit and respond, in that order. It sounds a lot better than uh, respometer, but certainly, of course, not as fun to say, respometer. I think you'd have to say that one with an accent. So, what does it respond to, and what does it transmit, and why do you need one? So it might surprise you that primary radar, which is an acronym for radio detection and ranging, needs a little help. It doesn't know who you are or your precise altitude. And that's where the transponder comes in. When it hears the interrogation signal, it responds to a secondary radar with a signal of its own, which contains useful information that the controllers, of course, need to know to separate traffic. At the time this video was made, Something called ADSB is required to fly anywhere useful in the United States. ADSB is a super transponder that's hooked up to GPS that gives controllers precise data and allows them to separate traffic better, which actually allows them to get traffic closer and make more efficient use of the airspace. Now, I'm not going to go into a bunch of technical stuff here, but I will say that ADSB is really nice. And if you have ADSB in on your plane, having flown with ADSB in a decent bit, uh, I find it a little bit unnerving hopping in a plane that doesn't have it. It's really nice to know where the other traffic is. So, what you want to know is how to use this thing, right? Well, so long as you're not squawking 7600, I'll tell you. Okay, what the heck did I just say? When you hear people say squawk, it means transponder code. That's it. A transponder code is a four-digit number. And there are four codes that you must know by heart. 1200 is the code for VFR flight. These aircraft are not under ATC guidance or anything. They're just out there flying around for fun. And that's perfectly okay in most places. So if a controller will tell you to squawk VFR, you'll tune to 1200. And they'll do this if they're no longer going to provide services to you like uh, flight following or traffic advisories. VFR aircraft not under ATC services will squawk 1200. This is the default code for transponders. And a lot of them now just have a button that says VFR, that's, so you don't have to punch in the, all four digits. If ATC is providing some service to you, they'll tell you what to squawk. Maybe something like squawk 0121. You'll read that back, and you'll dial in those four numbers on your transponder. Now, there are three other codes that you need to know by heart. I mentioned 7600 earlier, and this is for communications failure. If your comm radio is not working properly, then you're going to squawk 7600. I'll cover lost comm procedures, though, in a, another video. If you're in real trouble, and there's a real emergency of some kind, you're going to squawk 7700. Notice how both of these codes start with a 7 in an airplane? A code that starts with 7 in a plane is not a lucky one. Then there's the last 7 code that you need to know, and that's 7500. That's for a hijacking. That's probably unlikely, though, in any aircraft, especially your 172, where you've vetted your friends continuously throughout your relationship. I certainly wouldn't be friends with anyone uh, I thought was a potential hijacker. So, here are the codes again that you need to know, and you must know them. 1200, VFR. 7500, hijacking. 7600, lost comms. And 7700, emergency, other than the two listed above like a mayday or loss of required equipment or whatever. If it's not one of those four codes, then ATC will tell you what code you're going to squawk. And they'll say, squawk such and such. They may also tell you to ident. There's a little button on the transponder that calls their attention to your data block on their screen. So they know quickly which one that you are. Of course, don't ident unless they specifically ask, because I'd imagine it's very irritating for them to have a whole bunch of flashing data blocks for no good reason. There's also a knob that switches its mode. There are modes A, 
C, and S. Mode A is useless and I've never seen it on a test. It only transmits the squawk code. Mode C is required in classes A, B, C airspace and above 10,000 feet. Also, it's required within 30 miles of a class B, as shown in this magenta ring here on the charts. Mode C transmits your altitude, which is handy for proper spacing. You're going to see things about Mode C on a test, and Mode C is the altitude portion of your position. Just remember that Mode C is required from Class C and below in the alphabet, A, B, C, C, B, A. During your takeoff checklist, you'll have an item that says Transponder Out, which means just make sure it's in Mode C. I've never moved it out of Mode C, but the checklist item just ensures that it didn't get bumped by maybe somebody else or you. Mode S is really useful because it transmits speed and registration info as well, but Mode S is really only an airliner thing. ADS-V, of course, trumps them all because it's tied to your GPS and sends precise information. ADS-V stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. Nice government term. ADS-B is always transmitting its GPS position and speed without the need for a radar interrogation signal. And if you have ADS-B in, then you can receive this signal and know where everyone else is, which I mentioned earlier is really nifty. So don't rely on entirely it though, because there will certainly still be planes out there without ADS-B, so use your eyeball to scan and look for traffic. Transponders look like this. Newer transponders might look like this. Well, that's about it for transponders. Now you know what they do and how to use them. There's really not much to it. Squawk means transponder code. 1200 for VFR, 7500 for hijackings, 7600 and 7700 for emergencies. Mode C in classes A, B and C and above 10,000 feet. Transponders transmit, and respond. Well, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll certainly help me out, as will leaving a whole bunch of comments down below and engaging in lively discussions. I've got a couple other links in there as well, as uh, well as a Patreon link. And thanks for staying with me on 121 Point Mike.